for today's video, I thought it would be fun. I did this a couple of months ago. I go on to a, a group for wives that I am a part of on Facebook, and they're always asking questions um, about families and husbands and kids and whatever they want to talk about, girl stuff, and, uh, and they just ask questions and everyone can respond and just give their advice or whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on here, I'm gonna look at some of the questions people have and answer them. So yeah, get excited. Okay, so the first question is, has anyone been able to watch the new Gilmore Girls episodes? Okay, I actually posted this question on Facebook yesterday because, um, what's her name? I forget her name. The girl who plays Laura, Lorelai in the show, she had a video, they posted a video of her, you know, the creators of Gilmore Girls or whatever, saying that they were going to post all of the seasons of Gilmore Girls in multiple countries that hadn't been able to receive it on Netflix yet. But in the same video, she talks about how the new episodes are going to be coming out soon. And so it was a little confusing, but what I've discovered is that the new episodes are not coming out yet. They're most likely coming out around Thanksgiving. So if you're trying to search around through Netflix for the new Gilmore Girls episodes, they're not there. I was so sad. I did the exact same thing the other day. So the next, the next question is, has anyone had white floaties on their eyes when pregnant? It looks like bubbles flying up from a fish tank and only lasts a few minutes. Should I call my doctor? I'm in my 35th week. I would say call your doctor. I have never had that happen with my two pregnancies and I've never heard of that happening to anybody else. So call your doctor. Uh, I'm not gonna ask that question on here. I'm trying to keep it family friendly. Natural bug repellents. Has anyone ever heard of baby oil cream working also? What doTERRA oils work that people have actually used and can tell me really does work? I've heard peppermint is supposed to work with ants. I tried it one time, it didn't work, so this doesn't really answer your question, does it? Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, look at her head. My daughter daughter fell off the couch onto the tile right on her forehead. Do I need to take her in? Piper fell off the couch a couple, like a year ago or two years ago, and she hit her head on the carpet. And I was like, okay, like she's crying, like there's no bump or whatever. But then like 45 minutes later, she started throwing up. And so obviously like that is a major symptom of a concussion. So I had to take her in and she was fine, but it seemed, it turned out like she did have a minor concussion. So I don't know, if your kid bumps their head, this bump on her head looks legit. But I think if they don't start throwing up or if they don't have like crazy dilated eyes, then I think it should be good. That's my answer because I am totally up on uh, modern medical care. So you should listen to me. Here's a good one. Apple TV. I don't completely understand it. I have been thinking about getting it. Give me your pros and cons. I live on Apple TV, people. We have um, like an antenna. This is our antenna right here. You see that? Got it on Amazon. So that I can get channel 12 and channel 8 and channel 15 and channel 10. Anyway, so I watch like the news and PBS on those channels mostly. Otherwise, I'm on Apple TV all the time. I love it, but I am like a TV watcher. I watch TV every day without fail unless I'm like sleeping all day, which I would definitely be a pro Apple TV. If you're a parent, I would say cons are that your kids feel like they can watch anything whenever they want, which they kind of can. They get to choose and that's not always good. It kind of makes parenting that much more difficult because it's so easy. But other than that, Apple TV is the best. Love it, love it, love it. This is a good one. So one of these girls says that her 34 to 36 week pregnant sister wants to go with them to Disneyland and she says she'll be totally fine walking around Disneyland and, and keeping up, but she also says she's not active at all, like she doesn't ever like exercise or anything. And she, even when she's not pregnant, she has a hard time keeping up. Being 34 to 36 weeks pregnant is like really interesting. Sometimes it's like you have a lot of energy and are fine. But for me, I like couldn't breathe because the baby is so big and pushing up against your lungs. And so <laughs> um, I would say that she's not going to be fine. That would be my short answer. Don't believe her. If it was me, I would be doing the same argument as her because like who, I, I, I love Disneyland. I wouldn't want to miss it. But maybe get her a stroller or a wheelchair. Then you can get into the rides easier. Well, I guess she couldn't go on the rides. I, don't believe her. She, she 
it will be hard and you'll be stopping a lot or just going really slow. And if you're like my family, we like run from ride to ride to get as much in as we can. So that's awesome though. Go her for wanting to, to be there and to really, to really do it. Can I just pause for a second? I know the minute I say this, it will change, but my kids are still asleep and it's almost five o'clock. I even got a nap and I got to watch two episodes of Park and Rec, Parks and Rec, but now I, said it, so they're probably gonna wake up any second. <laughs> Jinxed it. Can you sit by me for a sec while I finish the video? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, we will be driving up to St. George. Another road trip for us. We did last weekend as well, and I might go a little bit crazy, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're gonna have fun, and we'll see you guys on Monday again. Bye. Bye. Watch him go down. Watch him. Ew. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh. Bye.